my name is Carrie Lynn and I wanted to do the booktube newbie tag today to kind of restart this channel. I did booktube a last year and I didn't even really finish posting videos for that, let alone actually, I don't remember if I succeeded in doing all the book challenges and whatnot, but I want to get back into it and yeah. So anyway, let's get started. So first question, why did you start this channel? So as I said, I started it with Booktubeathon last year. I thought it'd be fun to reach out and be more involved in the book community and it seems like a good way to kind of build confidence in myself and talking and becoming better with words and speaking and good about talking about different things and being learning. I feel like there's a lot to learn with Booktube and YouTube in general and yeah. Okay. <laughs> So question number two, what are some fun thing, fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? So I do have an English lit degree um, with a minor in music and so I think I've already posted one video of a lullaby that I composed based on the Lullaby from the Hunger Games, and I just recently read the original Red Rising trilogy. I haven't gone into the books after that yet, and I'm not ready for it. But anyway, there's that song from there, and I want to compose the music for that, and there's just... I, I want to incorporate the two, and also having been an English lit major, and then I've done some things within the field of reading recently, it'll be very interesting. I listen to a lot of audiobooks because I was somebody who struggled with reading when I was younger and I still feel like I'm a slow reader, so sometimes it's just easier to do the audiobooks or it helps me focus, and I just I love audiobooks. So maybe audiobook reviews and, and in addition to regular book reviews. Number three, what are you most excited about for this new channel. So I really am excited and hoping to meet new people, of course, and get back into reading. Um, the past few months, year, I haven't been reading as much, so I'm hoping that this will help me get back into that because I have a lot of books that I need to read and want to read. So I'm looking forward to that as well, and just, as I said, I'm hoping that this talking and communicating more will help me become more... still haven't thought of that word... fluent in talking, better at talking and communicating and expressing ideas. Yes. Um, so number four, why do you love reading? So I actually hated reading, absolutely hated reading, until sixth grade. Like, Sunday comics may or may not have been too much for me to read. Like, it really depended upon how I was feeling that day as to whether or not I would read the comics, which is like five sentences. And there's a question later on that I will get more into that, but I eventually found out I love stories. Reading, I have come to really love, but always being told stories and just exploring those stories and getting wrapped up in the stories is just something that I absolutely adore. Number five, what book or series got you into reading? So it was Harry Potter in fifth grade, sixth grade that got me into reading. I just, I finally found a book that was worth the struggle of reading and Harry Potter will always hold a place near and dear to my heart because it's what got me into something that I'm so passionate about and just love so much. Question number six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? So I feel like there's a lot of standard questions of like how to be successful or whatnot, but I think really what I would ask is like, is booktube what they thought it would be? Are they doing what they wanted to do? What did they originally set out? And I'm starting out, I want to keep my intentions. Seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Eloquence! I think that's the word that I'm finally... I, I think I finally thought of it. I want to be much more eloquent in expressing my ideas and thoughts and really thinking about what I'm reading. I feel like I've gotten really bad about that. Um, yeah, I want to 
start a reading journals but I am thinking about what I'm reading as I'm reading it and then I also want to reflect on this channel about what I have read and be able to really think about the books I'm reading and not just flying through them whatever 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 I want to really enjoy and think about and be eloquent about what I'm trying to say number eight when did you start reading again I hated reading until sixth grade Harry Potter so I guess that's when I started becoming a reader was sixth grade number nine where do you read I mostly read at home um, as I said, I like to listen to audiobooks, and so that kind of makes it hard reading in public or around people is because I never know when I'm going to be interrupted, and so it's really annoying having to pause the audiobook. So when I am reading in public or waiting for somebody, I do have like a book of poetry or a book where I don't have the audiobook, and I'll read that as I wait or I'm sitting around, but um, I definitely prefer to read in the privacy of my home, where I can just really focus on reading. Number 10, what kinds, what kind of books do you like to read? So I love reading all the genres. If I read too much in any one genre, I just feel like I need to take a break from it for a while. But I do, um, with Harry Potter, fantasy holds a near and dear place to my heart. I also love sci-fi and I do enjoy classics and I, uh, graphic novels, comics are something that I want to get back into. It's been a while since I've read one, so, but I, I love those. I just, I love pictures. I love drawings and sketches and I love the art in books. I have a soft spot for illustrated books, no matter what genre. I have a lot of memoirs that I want to get into and just, I, I, I love reading in every genre. Yeah. Okay, so that was the last question of the booktube newbie tag. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any recommendations of things to get, do better or, you know, any comments, let me know down below. I am somebody who loves constructive criticism because there's always something to do better. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and yeah, let me know what if you do booktube what what is the unique thing that you try and bring to your channel because i think that that is a really interesting question bye see you later go live your life okay so i'm really terrible at saying goodbye apparently in person on videos yeah okay so i will see you later talk to you later i feel like that's weird saying i'll see you later because i'm well, hopefully I'll check out your channel and, you know, actually see you and communicate with you, but I feel like that's just such a weird thing. Random dance party. See, this is where eloquence and preparedness would be good.